Just when we started wondering where are the Jamaican voices on the historic protest against racism in the US, a post by a virtually unknown artist caught our attention. That artist will be here. Meanwhile, Vershawn is the latest artist to use the current pandemic to his benefit. Vershawn comes with his song. We are tired. If you are a frequent consumer of Jamaican social media content, big man not do that. You will probably know the name by the cat. Cat, my name brother, <laughs> thief. And if you're not, mm, yeah, then trust me, I think you're wicked like me. He's one you wanna know. And in a sea of songs by Jamaican female dance haulers promoting the Métis culture, Vanessa Bling is staying true to her one-man conviction by pushing back in a brand new track. Vanessa Bling comes with the track and its video. Yellow way you feel like. All coming up. Plus, this week's Dance Hall Trending Countdown. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. The internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. Our dance hall trending countdown begins right now. At post time on Friday afternoon, the man starting off our countdown is the Money Man Gold God with weather. At number nine this week, Chronic Law and Sean Storm are never giving up. The number eight track is from the lone female on our dancehall trending countdown this week, Shansia with Wasabi. While at number seven, Iwata is shedding light on the popular Digi Lower. No new to this by TJ is number six this week, a man who is surely not new to this countdown. And starting off the top five this week, a massacre like you've never seen him before in Grandfather. I inform them, so them talk plenty. Lift up the belly that the beast suck away half century. While Tommy Lee flaunts rich badness at number four. Yeah, and bill. No. And I sell back the government properties. <laughs> Alkaline cries Cree at number three. Switch the beam at the Not do the bugger lip, no chatting ag you put. While Massacre once again charts on our countdown this week, this time with his winning streak at number two. Crush like my clothes don't press. Money for my mind, I mean these all don't stress. And the number one song on our dancehall trending countdown for this week, the youngest and baddest, Alkaline with Ocean Wave. Stay with us right here on stage. Coming up. Just when we started wondering where are the Jamaican voices on the historic protest against racism in the US, a post by a virtually unknown artist caught our attention. Put them on the button, we now check no licking. Meanwhile, Vershawn is the latest dancehall artist to use the current pandemic to his benefit. Vershawn will be here. I'm a real life. If you are a frequent consumer of Jamaican social media content, oh, <laughs> big man not do that. You will probably know the name Bada Cat. Cat, my name brother, <laughs> I'm And if you're not, then trust me. Mm, yeah, man. This is one man you need to know. I think you're wicked like me. And in a sea of songs by Jamaican female dance haulers promoting the Métis culture, Vanessa Bling is staying true to her one-man conviction by pushing back hard away, feel like. in a brand new track. Stay with us right here on stage. We'll be back. The 
the internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. Just when we began to wonder where are the young musical voices of Jamaica on the historic protest against racism in the US, a post by a virtually unknown artist caught our attention. He goes by the name Scantana. The man with the most grammar. And he is joining us right now, right here on our stage from work here in Jamaica. Scantana, sir, welcome. Blessed love, blessed love, Winfred. Blessed love back at you, my brethren. So, how did you come up with this song? Wow. <laughs> you know, so, um, first let me have to say, I have a brother that was murdered yes. by police when I was a youth. Yes. So every time we revisit one of these situations from Amadou Diallo to, to uh, Brianna Taylor to Trayvon Martin, you know, even Mario Dean in an hour, Jamaica here. Mm -hmm. It's a situation where Marie lived my brother's murder. Yes. So as a, as a person where, where, where do entertainment, I thought, where were the voices? Where were the Jay-Z's? Where were the, where were the Lil Wayne? Mm -hmm. Someone needed to represent this movement because I was seeing placards and posts, but I wasn't hearing the music. Same. And I had to be the representation for that. Okay, so let's take it right here. This is by no means an attempt to hear that noise bait. I'm making a statement. Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, Mario Dean, Kentucky Kid, and all the other lives lost to police brutality. Yeah, hear me? You, Mr. Officer, listen up. We are not no piggy no. Put down on the button, cause we not check no licking no. up. Mind how you treat people black in particular. God no like ugly and uno no no prettier. Funny yo, if a man kill a Babylon, him get years when Babylon a kill off man, nobody care on. If me never put it in a song, you wouldn't hear me. Why you listen to me clearly? If you ever kill another Trayvon, kill another Sandra, kill another Maria Dean, you have to give with some answers. We have take action. Every black man in the world are on in a make you know Black lives matter, black lives matter, all lives matter to me, I make you know say, black lives matter, black lives matter, all white man missing with placard. All right, so that's it. That's the, the track. Wow. Black lives matter. What's the response? It's out on, in social media. That's where I saw it. Wow, the feedback has been immense. I have to say, like, my phone can't keep no charge right now. <laughs> You have to keep my phone on charge just to suit this interview, you know? Yeah. But uh, I've, been, I've been getting calls from people near and far asking me to represent other issues that, that may be at hand, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's really remarkable. It's really remarkable. The U.S. is responding to you too? Some of the, the response you're getting? People from the U.S.? Yeah, man, definitely. Uh, I would say that I'm, I'm more celebrated abroad. Uh -huh. than I am in Jamaica, you know, because it's, it's, not a, it's not a Jamaican campaign. Yes. Even though we see situations where officers abuse power, even in Jamaica, it's Black Lives Matter is not a Jamaica campaign. So, so my ce celebrity with this song is more immense overseas. Yes. You know, like, like I have people that come here to visit and see me on the street like, hey, it's you. Remember the song put out in 2016, you know? Mm-hmm. It was and out it in, in 16. views on my Facebook page. Yes. 214,000 views to be exact. But it, it's far more relevant now, more important now, is it? And it's very relevant to this, the present situation. To so the present situation at hand. So people, people are going to see it. And some of those people that didn't look at it before, especially now in the corona season, everyone is home. Everyone is looking for something new to... To, to just watch or to like or to share. Because what, what happened was I decided to reshare it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I had never shared it on that platform before. So I said, look, I need to share this Black Lives Matter video on with the hashtag Rip, Rip George Floyd. You know, Rip George Floyd, Rip his family. 
Yes. You know what I mean? We represent for all of these people that faced a situation of police brutality where a family member was murdered. You know what I mean? I'm not able to march in the peaceful marches, but my voice can be heard. I can represent it. You know what I mean? And Jamaica is a place where we, we was always rebellious. We're always a stand up. With it. You know, we love for bio. We love mm -hmm. for bio argument. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, we've never, we've never been quiet on the issue of racism in the world. Jamaica right. is always out front on that, and, um, and sometimes it's the only voice in the West, in the Western Hemisphere, speaking to what was happening, for example, in South Africa. I'm from Jamaica. You know what I mean? Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Sisla Kalanji, many artists. Yeah. All right, so speak a little bit now about your roots, because you are spent time in the U.S. Um, yeah. You were deported, right? Yeah, I was deported. Winfred, you don't remember me? <laughs> I sang the song Deportee in the Tasty Talent Trail, 2007. Well, and you tell me some <laughs> dancehall style, but I'm my hip hop style. <laughs> you don't remember me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, but what about the, the, the wide audience now? We want to sort of give them a little background on you. You know what I mean? So let's go back then to, to your roots in Jamaica. You were born here. You went to the U.S. when? Yeah, I went to the U.S. at um, um, a year and six months old. Yes. That would have been about 1982. And, and then um, I was there, did all my years of schooling, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I got in trouble at the age of 17. Yes. You know, I, I grew up kind of in a broken home where that, that is probably another interview. Mm -hmm. But it was a situation where, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't a stranger to, to drug usage and drug dealing mm -hmm. within the household. Yes. You understand what I mean? I said, so it was a matter of where did I fit in? Mm -hmm. You know, I was the youngest boy of, of 10 children at the time. Yes. So where did I fit in in this? I had to make my place in all of this chaos. You know what I mean? And what my father always instilled in me was the value of a proper education. Yes. So even though the house did broken, you know me, I'm a brother, I'm a sister, and we did always close knit. We would teach each other. We would do homework together. We would learn together. You know what I mean? And we still did follow those family values. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My father sang a song in 1972, so the artistry was always in the family. Yes. And you know what I mean? And he was, he was in, he's a Jamaican, right? Yeah, man, my father is a Jamaican by name. In fact, my father was my father was one of the cohorts in, in Bob Marley's um, entourage. Because when Bob would fly in, it was my dad who would pick him up from the airport and bring him down the lane. Mm -hmm. And then would do fry dumpling and um, them, them, you know, them ital, ital thing. Uh, I grew up to Rastafari roots. Same, same, same. You know? All right, so you were sent back to Jamaica because of, of runnings with law enforcement in the U.S. And you came right. back in what, 2003? 2003, I, was, I came back. How did you feel about that, though? Were you, did you feel misplaced? What? What did you feel? Winfred, I feel everything. You know everything? Yeah. I felt fear. I was, I, you know what I mean? I was, I was in a place. I came to a phone number. I didn't have a abiding citizen when I, citizen when I came home. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So it was like when I when I got here, it was like, what is this? Where them send me? I'm seeing I'm seeing goats walking across the street. Mm. Goats are grazed. <laughs> Just in a you know I was in Harborview at the time. Yes. I mean I think goat I walk across the road like goat. What is that? Yeah. I'm not used to that. I'm going to the bus stop. A hog tied to the bus stop. A hog. <laughs> So I'm, you know what I mean? It was a culture shock. It was, yeah. it was everything that you could imagine a foreigner, I get put down here for say, all right, foreign you, y'all gotta live at Jamaica now. See. In the middle of Kingston, y'all gotta live there. And you don't have nobody, you know, so you just gotta do that. And, and, just gotta make it work. And where in Kingston? Where you placed at that time? My, my first night in Kingston was in Harborview. Okay. I spent two nights in Harborview and then ended up in Portmore. Mm -hmm. I spent about, Two months in Portmore, I ended up in a place called Sydenham Villa, Same. Pure Badney. Yeah. I left from Sydenham Villa and ended up in Meadowbrook. Mm -hmm. 
I left from Meadowbrook and started sleeping in Carnation Market and, and Tivoli Arcade. And then I, I, I had a, a night job as a security down by Newport West. Mm -hmm. Seven nights a week. You see how God good? I'm homeless. And then I get a job, a night job, seven nights a week. <laughs> and, uh, and, so, I mean? and where are you now? And now, well, even before that, me, me, me kept singing if I just got the opportunity to go to school. So Tasty Talent Trail happened. Yes. I should have won that night, you know, Winfred. <laughs> I should have won. But Marvin Fishley, big up Marvin, where him there, anyway, him there. Uh. Marvin Fishley won that night. Yeah. And Amina Blackwood Meeks gave me the opportunity to go and study performing arts. Ah. And I completed an associate degree at um, Excelsior Community College. Same. And today I'm, I'm actually doing barbering and doing music independently. Okay. And um, I scored my debut acting role in Top Boy. I, mean, I don't know if you know say I mean, <laughs> but I mean, they got fit. Leone Forbes, we love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, Leone. I was, the, I was the gentleman who got for the money at Leone Forbes' shop. And then Ashley Walter shot me in the back in Top Boy. <laughs> So you're, so you're a man of many talents. Many talents, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda make some moves to what we just need the, the on-stage platform here, you know? Same. Make a bit of it. Well, you're on, it's sir, it. and, and you're making the best of it so far. And um, what about your own family, though? Do you have a family of your own now in Jamaica? Oh, man, that's another story. Like, my life is a story, Winfred, so... So I have a daughter in the States, but I wasn't able to raise that daughter. I never have a relationship with her. I don't know her like that. Mm -hmm. So I came home, decided, you know, never really want in a day. Just bag a youth, bag a youth all about. And then I ended up, um, was expecting a child in 2015, my son. Mm -hmm. And he died in the process of birth due to the faulty decision of a medical practitioner at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital. Oh. He should have been a cesarean section, and the doctor decided to tell the woman that she should have given natural birth. And the child died in the process of birth from asphyxiation. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. So with that year, just I fight the battles and still I hold strong. I live with lessons, I learn on the way. And, and the, you know, and the I, barbering, how is it going? Yeah, man, the barbering is working. It's still kind of... I forget, like a fresh for the interview, we couldn't make. So you, you are your own bar, right? you are your own barber too. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, you know, um, Scantana, we're, we're going to leave it right here uh, until we meet again, Reggie. I appreciate the opportunity, man. One of these days, we are going to sit down and have a real talk, man. Oh, yes. Yeah, so when I'm... the thing grow a little bit more. We are going to do this again. Yeah, man, in person, Reggie. But in the meantime, we, we love it that you get some, yes, some love and some respect in the music, boss. Yeah, man, I appreciate that win, Fred, man. This uh, is a start, you know. I have to big up everybody down at uh, the station there with you, you know. Mm -hmm. Bless up on the self and all of that, you know. On, stage, on stage TV, Virgin. Bless you. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. One verb and the gam verb, top, top. It's can't turn the man with the most grammar. Black lives matter. Bless. All right, there you have him right here on our stage. The man with the most grammar. <laughs> Scantana on our stage. Black lives do matter. All right, stay with us. Still to come. Vershawn is the latest dancehall artist to use the current pandemic to his benefit. Version will be here. We are tired. If you are a frequent consumer of Jamaican social media content, oh, brother. <laughs> big man, no do that. You will probably know the name Bada Cat. Cat, my name, brother. I'm to you. And if you're not, then trust me, this is one man you need to know. I think I wicked like it. And in a sea of songs by Jamaican female dance holders promoting the Meti culture, Vanessa Bling is staying true to her one-man conviction by pushing back hard you feel like. in a brand new track. Find your own man. We'll be back. The 
internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winfred Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. If you are a frequent consumer of Jamaican social media content, you probably know the name Bada Cat. <laughs> and if you're not, then trust me, is someone you need to know. This is a man whose construction site chatter is so fascinating. It not only pulls fellow workers, it often goes viral when posted. Right now, Cat is somewhat a Jamaican pop culture sensation. And joins me right now, right here on our stage from the beautiful parish of Portland in Jamaica. Cat, sir, welcome. Yes, murder. <laughs> well, go on, man. Well, just, just that alone make me laugh still. <laughs> your, your greetings, your hail alone make me laugh, Bridget. So, my friend, uh, how did this how did this start, Kat? How did you get here, get to be so popular, so viral? Well, it's all about Mother Cat. Yes. The word dizzy on the site. So you were just talking to Bread Drinks on current topical issues. Yes. On the site. Yes. When you have a break, you just sit down and, and we'll have a reasoning, as we would say. Say it. All doing the working process, we're working and talking. Even when working too, you, you're yeah, yeah. reasoning and thing. And right. some people took the video, started to record you, right? Okay, yes, sir. And post it. And when it got online, people love it. People love it so much that they, they want more, right? Yeah, they need some more of this joke. Yes. So... It's all about Jizzy, who put it to the social media, YouTube, so the people will require more of these jokes. So I saw him will power back to me, Bada Cat, to get some more of this joke. I you know that him one can keep this joke, him have to share it with other people, so the people <laughs> request more. But you weren't, you're not a comedian, really. You weren't even giving jokes. You were just no. talking. No, I never know myself as a comedian. I'm just talking naturally. So it's just you're talking, people find so fascinating. You're just, the way you talk, the way you put words, and how you comment on things, yeah. you just make them want to, make them laugh. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I laugh becomes, when I talk. It becomes a joke. Yeah. yeah, man, we all laugh when we hear it. Because, you know what I mean? Bola, let's just give our viewers a little piece of you in action right now. So. Me no want to be a thief, you know, but at the same time, I see everything I drain down. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I see to keep the thing up is to rob something. You see what I say? Me no want to do it, but at the same time, so I make you look look myself. Up. You look and can't get so you're not going to try to make something for yourself, no, man. Where you are going to try to pick coconut or something, man. Then yeah, now you see them teeth, you have coconut. <laughs> where you are going to pick? You have yeah. coconut. Man, go to jail for you know, three or four, mm -hmm. one, you have <laughs> coconut. <laughs> Don't tell you, no, you know, say, me go in a car. Yeah. And it has got too fast, so I feel like, say, this man has got too fast. Me stop him and ask him if he's late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if him say no, me tell him let me out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking. supposed to go so fast and him not late. If him late, let me out still come in early. Well, yeah, some man not let you out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how you mean him not let out me? So that is just a little taste of what goes on when Bada Cat will a reason with him, a reasoning with him bridging them on a site. See? So then it appears though, Cat, that sometimes man does. When something might break in Jamaica, like for example, Corona, the coronavirus, they yeah. will come to you and say, Cat, what do you think about what you think about the COVID-19 virus? And how would you answer that? Let, let me ask you this, Cat. The COVID-19 virus is now a pandemic, right? And it has now caused us to have to, to pretty much lock down our country, Jamaica. 
How do you comment on it? Yeah, well, my comment was that there's a man-made system that we control the system. Yes. There is a new world order we're going to be into. So all these rules and order now that you see we have to live with. Mm. It's just that we have to get it in. That's not my ideas. Yeah, so them just bring it a sickness that you're going to have to take in whatever them have to deliver to protect the sickness. So then now them will get this world in one order. Oh, so it's a move you think? To, uh, to create a, a, world, a new world order? Yeah. So then, so, all right, so if there's a vaccination, you wouldn't be taking it? Well, if it, it's possible, as I have to go, rather to live more than die. Yes. Yes, that's, yeah. a, that's a, a decision. You'd have to weigh the pros and cons, and, and chances are you will take it, you're saying. Yeah, while it's possible, I have to take it because I'm just I'm living in this world. So if it's, it's something possible for bring a word here and here and here and everywhere, you can live without it. You cannot do it without it, but you're going to live like an alien in the bush. But the way you see it and read it is a man-made thing as far as you're concerned, but you're open to be convinced otherwise, right? Yeah, that is not something that me can resist. See? So in the meantime, you, you're... You're obeying the social protocols. You're staying the distance and so on. Yeah, do me sanitize, wear my mask. Yeah, I'm no things. See, yeah. so on a site, right? This only happened on a site now, or do you now, are you now being asked to come and, and make speeches for crowds? Yeah, I'm willing. I feel that we can go up and make speeches mm -hmm. anywhere. Eh, if them call you and say, boy, cat, come, come make some talk on some issues, you, you're willing to come forward and make and talk? Sure. Right? Yes, I'm sure. So in your mind, right, is it what you're saying or how you're saying what you're yeah. saying? Well, I'm thinking of it myself, too, you know, but I'm thinking that I'm spreading a lot of good message that some people can gravitate to it. Mm -hmm. And it's bring a lot of fun. And there is advice there where the people them gravitate to the vice. So you know, so well that vice kind of carry the people them up to love it more than more, you know? So it's a whole lot of thing about this border cat, you know? Yeah. Same. So have you been able to, have you been able to go on any stage and perform yet? Yeah, I'm doing a whole lot of stage, all in Canada, all over Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You went to Canada and performed? Yeah. So how did, it, how did it go? Did they ask you question and your reason, as you would at the construction site? Or did you just put you on a stage and say, talk, cat? Yeah, I'm, I'm the boat. You I'm both? boat to answer question, yes. and I'm just talk free, like freestyle and answer question, like, you know, you can ask, like, any question, it's allowed to ask. Ah, I see what you mean. All right, so what do you make of what's going on in the U.S.? You're aware of what's going on in the U.S. now with the protest. Oh, do, you, do you have a comment on that? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm have a comment that I'm trying to make them know that. Mm -hmm. It's not now, now yesterday, black been getting abused. It's just no since a lot of we can be seeing it, but we usually hearing it. Somehow we never hear it before. Somehow we just seeing it now on phone. But it's a thing we have long before, so. See. It's just, and so now it's just the love of the black people, the treasure and the victory of we, the black people, make we get to gain more love from the white. So you find that all the white will stand up to we the black. So um, do you think this, that they will get some change in the laws in America now? Yeah, well, it's not a must like we're going to get some change, you know, but it's the more we put in, it's the more we take out. So the more we stand up for our rights, it's the more, more we get. We'll get more justice. 
So if there is no one to stand up for our right, there is no justice. Do you think Jamaicans are supporting them enough, the blacks in America? Yeah, they're getting a good support. The Jamaican support is good, do you think? Yeah. Say it, say it. All right, Kat, so yeah, me hear you that DJ before you come on, me hear you that DJ. You were, you were in music, you are a DJ otherwise? I'm not a recording artist, but I'm can DJ. Okay, but you never did a record? You've never done a record? Yeah, I'm done a record with the artist from Montego Bay, name as Militant. See? Why didn't you pursue a career in music? No, it's all about what come to me. Yes. Yeah, uh, where I was, nothing wasn't coming. Mm -hmm. yes, it's just all about what come to me because I could do the music before this comedian thing go here so it's just what come I work with but there is many more is still in the pipeline can come out you're open to, to, to deal with anything that comes along right now right now said alright how would you, would you comment on you know dance hall right now because you're a DJ, that means you know much about dancehall. How would you comment on the state of dancehall right now? Well, right now, me, I get a whole back from dancehall coming, I get my work. And the dancehall now gone, and that's why I wear my work come out. Eh. Yeah, so. so. I don't really have a bad comment about dancehall because that's how they work. This latter people having fun from going to dance. So all we just need is good message in the music. That's the people can gravitate to the message. You see how them gravitate to the dance hall? So you can use that and lead the people to righteousness. So you would like to see the lyrical content be more about consciousness than what you're hearing now? Yes, I would like it to rearrange. Can you emily watch them learn? Yes. The youths them gravitate to the dance. So make we turn it into a classroom. And so the, you're calling an artist for, for turn it into, as you say, a classroom, say? Definitely, definitely, sir. Just like that. Ah. So Kat, you're still in construction too, right now? Well, I'm not doing any now, but if you have your house making and you want me there, I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> of course, and, uh, unfortunately, I'm not making a house at the moment, but, but yeah, that would, be a, that would be nice to have you, because when the man them don't talk, they would work even harder, so that when you break, yeah. they get another, another round of the, of the border cat. So, the border cat thing just on the side, same way, you know? See, so the name border cat, border cat is your own, are you dance all name that? Yeah, that's the original name for me, you know? So you used yeah. to, to play sound system and go out and DJ on sound system, right? Yeah, that's when I was young. But I must put it up for many years. This comedian thing come back now. I'm after being to many show up host the party, do a lot of things. So you find say, this DJ thing just come back right in at the play now, you know? Maybe if you want to drop all the lyrics for me. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Go, go ahead, man. This one is from Bada Cat Original, really, you know? Cool and relax, man, cool and relax. Me no have no time to drive out in police, jeep back. Me no want go down a GP, go see them well flat. Man, I leave me like no sheep and go out in a flock. Remember, pa, me big body, girl, me left back. Me house and me bed, me could not cool and relax. But now you're there at present, end up in a dead stack in him. Cool and relax, man, cool and relax, yes. Cool and relax, man, cool and relax. Yes, my name is Bada Cat, I'm one of the truth, me attack. Me a tell you, get to you, man, cool and relax. I want to see them up a river. And strong out your not and read the Bible and Mr. Right on the clock and pray to Father God and Mr. Right on the clock. Hit him, cool and relax, mono, cool and relax, yes, cool and relax, mono. Yeah. <laughs> cool and relax. <laughs> uh, <I can't>. Nice. <laughs> Why, well, you know, <laughs> I hope the producer of all is there, God. <laughs> so, like, you're ready for drop something, man. It's uh, that. That's, a, that's not a record yet, is it? No. 
Say, yes, when yes. I woke, nobody don't teach you lyrics in that one. <laughs> well, Kat, we're going to cut it right there, Bedrick, and thank you again for coming and sharing with us. Love and yourself. it's just one love, my Bedrick, and continue the good work and continue to make us laugh, at least. And, uh, and there's a lot of substance, by the way, in what you say. You know what yes, I mean? Sir. And yeah. it's not always a joke, because when I watch you, Bedrick, I... Though sometimes we laugh, we're, we're learning at the same time. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> because you sound yeah. like a man who's a, sh a straight shooter. And Show you care it. not Show who it. it hurts. You just a spit where you have to say, you yeah. know what I mean? You know, I wanted to ask you, who are some of the DJs you rate? Yeah, well, I must get inspired from Supercat. Okay. In my real life, I'm still rate assassin as a DJ. See? So that's yeah. why you call yourself Cat too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause where I was coming up, I just get that inspiration from that guy. So a usual DJ in you know, that form of vice. See. So my friend them usual tell me that you can't DJ like the man and use the man name. So yeah, at the same time, me was of a grandfather with pass off in the name of Bada. Mm -hmm. So you them just make me know, you know, you wanna like how you feel for your grandfather, so. You're going to give the name Bada Cat. Reggie, yeah. the, name, the, name, the name is now famous, so a good name. Thanks again for coming and sharing with us, my boss. Yes, my boss, you're welcome. Ah, Reggie. Well, right. up everyone in Portland for you now. All, All right, Portland brother. Them. All our fans yeah, them out there brother. and everyone in Portland, big up. Much respect. Yeah, man, I'm big up, Jizzy, and... The whole works, the whole family. Yes, when I say the whole Portland people, them and the rest go and big up on yourself, Kawa, bad I can't love on it. Yes, when I say, so I don't know any man, more love for them. Ah, bless up. All right, there you have him right here on our stage, the man, bad I can't. Now stay with us, still to come. Get the way you feel like. Vanessa Blake. And later, we all tied. Versha, we were back. The internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winfred Williams. Download our app and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. In a sea of songs by Jamaican female dancers promoting the Métis culture, Vanessa Bling is staying true to her one-man conviction by pushing back in a brand new track. Get away, you feel like. Take who? The independent lady is asking in the song. Find your own man. And uh, joins us right now, right here on our stage with the premiere of its video. All right, Vanessa, welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, and um, congratulations on looking so well in COVID. Thank you, and same to you. <laughs> Thank you. And so, you are not just at home relaxing, are you? No, I'm not. Really working hard, just like the Prime Minister. <laughs> okay. And so, what's the scope of your work so far in, um, in this time? Is it a project you're, you're working on or just a single yes. we're about to drop? Yeah, I have a couple of singles that um, I already dropped. I dropped um, Tech U, which um, you guys are about to premiere the video for it. Also, I have This Me, um, and I just dropped um, First Thing, yeah. Actually, I'm working on an album. Mm -hmm. um, mo few of, few of the, the, the tracks are from Swift, um, Swiss Beats and a couple more um, producers, and we have... A, some collaboration, right? And, but we can't talk about it as yet, but I'm working. That is great. Oh, clearly. And um, your team remains the same? No. Mm -hmm. So tell us about it. What are some of the changes? Changes, I've, producers, management, what? No, you know, I always keep my same producers because they understand Vanessa. So I always, I don't, when it come on to the production, I don't try to trouble my producers. But we are, management team is, um, Concern. I'm with um, Solid Agency right now with Margo and Sharon at the moment, and you know, just working. Okay. All right. So we are going to now take a little pause to drop the big question of a song. Take who? Wow. 
my good, good man, ya fool. Stop chick yourself, girl, cook on you. Take your little money when you have got by a clue. Don't even try no bother. Cross this girl, go away with your drama. Come already, yeah, I feel my things. Go get some visin from your mother. You not have no class, you not ready. One thing you have a heart for your try taking. Not even my Rolex watch of time for you. No later for you. Get away you feel like. Funny ways and find your own a man. You will get too bright. We're not the same. You need to move and go on. Take what? Take who? My good, good man. Ya fool. Stop chick yourself, girl. Coop on you. Take your little money when you have go by a clue. What is this? She need to get for your business fix. Come on, I put on your eye TV this. No make the pretty face fool ya. Cause me will teach you a lesson, yes, cool ya. You want nobody to me, girl, ooh ya. For your name now, come up in a Google. Come on, size up, better if you're wise up. Look who you are deal with, girl. Girl, where you feel like? Go ways and find your own man. All right, so there you have it. Take who is the title of it from Vanessa Blake. Now, Blake, you are so... Powerful in this song, you're daring a guy, a woman, to take <laughs> a woman to take your your man, right? Isn't that the sum total of, of the song? Yeah, um, Winford, as you know, you know, Vanessa represent for the, the strong ladies, the ghetto ladies, the up to any ladies, you know, Vanessa represent for them. Um, and I'm I'm one of that female I always stand up and say, listen, one man at a time, yes. the girl now come and take over Vanessa Bling man, so you know, and then our friends and I listen to how they speak sometime and I listen to conversation and I always just take it and just put it together. And I was like, okay, this makes sense. Yes. And uh, the initial response so far? It's great. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's for the ladies, so. <laughs> so it's, it's the ladies are driving it right now. Women, yeah. like, women like it? Yeah, they do. The Optiman like it too. <laughs> well, I like it. <laughs> it's a nice song. You know, your catalog is always going to be welcomed as far as your stool is concerned. Thank you. All right, now, so in terms of going forward now, we you know it's COVID and, uh, and, you know, we pretty much have to just um, observe the protocols. But what are you looking to do as soon as there's a free, freeing up of movement so to speak um the first thing we have some writing session even though i'm a little bit scared because as you know of the covid 19 but as you know we have to work with the law so i have a couple writing session we are writing session in la mm. um in new york but we're going to la first when everything is settled and we have some more tracks that we have to um to finish we have some we have a couple deals on the table that we can speak about at the moment but you know you will be the first one to get the update. Mm -hmm. So a lot been going on for Vanessa Bling, and I am grateful and I'm humble at the same time with it. Oh, wonderful. That's so good to hear. Well, you know Thank what you. to do once you, you have something to say. I know. It's, it's just link <laughs> us, call us. That's right. And uh, the protest in the US. Would you like to weigh in on it? I like what I see happening. I like how black people really standing up now on this topic, but what I would love to see too is us as one people like in Jamaica, I would like to see Jamaican people just stand up also. Huh. No, I, would, I don't want to see the looting and that, those stupidness, no. I want us when something happens here in Jamaica because you have, you have to dance like you had before you can dance abroad. So I would like us to come together, especially when it's politic time, like stop killing our one another, stop, it's not necessary. Those Let's just come together and just be one. Love one another. Stop killing each other. Stop the raping. Stop all those madness. Like, I see some things on the net sometimes. You have some time when I just lock up my phone like that. Two weeks and just work with my banger because I can't take with me and sit on the internet. Like, it's crazy. I just see one of, one of my friends sent me something where a 13 year old was what, raped by a big man. And I was like, oh. a little baby about to have baby. So, where is this man that raped this child? I mean, I hear nothing about it. So these are some of the things that I would like to see us as Jamaican come together and talk about and work out like, you cannot rape baby and I mean, I see nothing happen. So we need to dance here yeah, before we can even dance abroad. And then again, this black thing is for the world. 
So it's not for just America alone, it's for the world. Yes, absolutely. So we, sh we too should be supporting the Americans. Yeah. For me, we, we need to stand together. Um, it's not only an American issue, it's a human problem. We need to change. We need to change. Yes, you think there should be change. And so you support the peaceful protesters and their quest for reform in the criminal justice system of the U.S. All right, Vanessa, I want to thank you for joining us right here on stage. We want to wish you all the best as usual. And uh, of course, you know where to come when you're ready. Thank you very much for having me, Winford. And please stay safe, you and the team. Remember, we don't want you. We need you. Jamaica and the world needs Winford and on stage. God bless you. Peace. Peace. Thank you very much, Vanessa. All the very best. Stay with us. Still to come right here on stage. Version is the latest dancehall artist to use the current pandemic to his benefit. Version will be here. The internationally acclaimed On Stage with Winford Williams. Download our app. And be on our stage, anywhere, everywhere, always. So much more than entertainment. Vershawn is the latest dancehall artist to use the current pandemic to his benefit in music. The inner real life artist is joining us right now, right here on our stage via Zoom from somewhere, I suspect, in Kingston, Jamaica. Persia. Well, go on, Godfather, Winford. <laughs> yeah, go on. Bless up, boss. We see your, we see your exercise and things, so we know you're, 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 you're fit and, and, um, and healthy in the pandemic, yeah. I'm going to try to get rid of the quarantine belly, you know? Because you know me have to sex you for the ladies then. <laughs> <laughs> so is it working? <laughs> the exercise are work yet? Some progress are going on. It's all progress, not like. So we should put your beanie in a race and see who, who lose it first. <laughs> Big up bad for a beanie. <laughs> yeah, I like how I'm taking it. You know? Lots of people talking about him and his belly. And if not, he don't care. He just, he might take it with, in good grace. You know what I mean? The king, the king good with it, it appears. I hope he's not, not use that to not do nothing. He should continue to work it off, you know? I mean, it, I mean him, in the age, can't have a belly now. But like me, you know, I don't think <laughs> belly going to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get an excuse. He might have an excuse, but can't work. All right, all right, Reggie. So are you one of those who have taken time out to make records during this pandemic? Well, definitely, because we have a studio at home. Okay. So this, this track wasn't just one you went and said, look, let, let's voice it. You're, you're constantly working. You're using the, the stay at home and the lockdown to, to work, yep. to create, and to make music. Yep. Same. All right, so talk about the track before we drop it. I know it's out already, I think. And okay. it's doing really well. How do you rate its performance? Because we say it do well, but where you say I mean, it had do well, you know, because it's out three weeks now, it the 2.5 million views, although them said me I buy the views, but I don't really listen to consumers of fear, because the first Benz I buy them say I rent, rent it, so <laughs> I say it go. Really? <laughs> get, yeah, man. So it, it a work so far. It's a song called Outside, um, mm -hmm. produced by Big Laugh Music. The video was shot and done by Terminal 4, and the visual itself is a very, very good video the song is a very good song and the rhythm is a very good rhythm all right so let's take it take a piece right here version we outside up in the girl them love life funny funny both side all right so that's it that's a piece of it and it's over 2.5 million views already on youtube so much so that them saying you're buying the views version <laughs> But is that even possible, though, the, the buying of views? I, I didn't know that people could really can and, and they are buying views. I never buy no views before, so I wouldn't know if it's possible or it's impossible. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I hear them saying that, but I don't know. But anyway, my friend, so otherwise, now I'll go on with you musically. 
I mean, due to the whole coronavirus stuff, you know, what if I think it kind of shut down. So, um, we just currently are do some recording now, working on EPs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This track is also part of that EP project? No, you know, this is not. I mean, um, Big Laugh just sent me the rhythm and I said, yo, this is a really good rhythm and create a really good vibe summer song, although it looked like summer kind of cancel. But I really love the rhythm and the vibe just come to me right away. So that's how I really get on that track. Okay. Dance holders are not um, readily into making albums, but nowadays we see where some are, are trying to put out albums. Where are you on that? The making of an album for your own? I mean, before I think about putting out an album, I try to create a momentum first so the, the album really don't fall on death here. So that is really the aim. So I'm not really rushed for do an album right now. Yeah, yeah. And as it, as it stands right now, and when you look out there, you have a lot of time to reflect and to reflect on what's going on in the, in the global music space while we grapple with this pandemic. Um, to what extent is that influencing your creativity, your writing, your perspective on, on life, on music? Well, I mean, well, for me, well, definitely, yeah. Because, I mean, we have more time for meds, more time for put things together. Um, we have more time with the family, mm -hmm. if you understand what I mean. All right, so in going forward now, the future, when, if and when <laughs> things open up back, what market, what, what stage would you be looking forward to going on um, for a first performance? I mean, I can't say right now because, as you know, everybody kind of cancel out, everybody kind of scared due to the whole corona. So I, I really can't say much right now. We just have to hope for the best. All right, Vershan. So in the, in the meantime, it's full focus on recordings and getting out your, your work to your fans around the world, right? Until, until when the place open up again, where it seems like a next year so. Until then, I'm just making music and putting out. That's it. All right, Bridging. Well, we can only thank you and, um, and wish you all the very best and hope that, yes, you will be able to get on your, your stage of choice <laughs> next year, <laughs> if so long. <laughs> we hope on this year we can see some live action, but if I next year, I next year. And we look forward to that version, and we hope that we will see some new some more hits coming out of your, out of your catalog, out of, what, out of those you're working on now, the, the recordings you're doing now in, in short order. Most definitely, Mr. Will. Okay. All right, so bless you. All right, so there you have it, our show for this week. Winford Williams on behalf of the team, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more On Stage. Thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage always. <laughs>